lights again, whoa Some niggas bitter with life and they hate me They wanna put knife in my ribs, whoa Way this shit set up, I live like Ronaldo But I never been to Madrid, whoa She said that she working, I told her come over And we could get right at the crib, whoa Hey yo, what is good, family? Welcome back to Astro Nori for another video. I know it's been like five days since I posted, but I've been stuck on watching Flash literally day and night, bro. I've literally been binge watching Flash for like three days now, and I've watched over three seasons. I know that's OD, but I haven't been barely getting sleep. I hate these type of shows where you watch to the end almost, then they come out with a bang, and you gotta watch another episode. I hate that shit, but if you guys do enjoy this shirt, bro, go check out Project 88. They actually just dropped Drop their website and i would honestly really 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 appreciate it if you guys went over there showed some love if you enjoy this piece they have it on the website they also have a couple other tees on there they have this hat and they have the denim hat that you see right there honestly these hats are my go-to and it's not just because these are my homies this shit goes with everything like literally bro black white and red or blue denim like come on bro you cannot go wrong with any of these pieces i would definitely say go check out their website do it for me i promise you you won't be let down it's actually a really sick brand and i've been waiting for this day for them to drop this shit so i could show you guys and hopefully some of you guys do enjoy this shit the other pieces they have i'm gonna try to put some pictures right here are also really sick the website will be linked in the description probably at the top we also plan on having a giveaway for you guys pretty soon so i'm gonna try to go ahead and include that in there but if you guys do end up enjoying this video go ahead and leave a like subscribe down below click that gleam link if you do want to enter in a 50 dollar paypal giveaway but without any further ado, today we're going to be talking about Supreme Week 10. Honestly, this week is pretty hard in my opinion. I just like the collab. That's all I'm going to say. I like the collab. I feel like a lot of people aren't liking it, but personally I do. Considering that Halloween is in a week or so, this collab kind of matches the theme and I do like it. It gives me like the Kira vibe, kind of. It's like off the edge type, off the heezy type shit. Shit is pretty clean and I do want to talk about it with you guys. We do have the full drop list, so I'm going to discuss the whole shit, but y'all already know what it is. Let's get straight into this video. All right, so we're going to start at the bottom of the list today. I don't really want to start with the most hype items because there's not too many of them, but we do have these thorn pants. We have the jacket and we have the camp cap. I'm going to try to put all of that right there. Personally, I do like the thorn design. It is pretty sick to me. I do like the pants more than anything. The jean jacket is also pretty cool, but I would definitely go with the pants when it comes to this design. I just wish that there was some type of Supreme branding on there that would kind of seal the deal on it for some people. For me, I do like the design in general. It is clean and it's just different. Like it's one of those pattern pants that you could freak and pull off and make this shit look pretty cool. But once again, we do have the thorn set right here. Them shits is pretty clean to me. Apparently not to a lot of other people. But after that, we do have a lot of hats coming out. We got the stripe six panel. We got the champion beanie. We got this pom pom looking ass beanie. All these shits are ass. Move them to the side. He got this leopard panel half zip. Y'all already know, if you watched that video where I roasted Supreme items, you already know this leopard pussy print jacket is not gonna make it on the top of this list. Like for certain, you could keep that for certain. They could keep this shit. They could literally lick a tip with this shit on. They on some other mega homo type shit. They could hold this leopard shit. I don't want it at all. We do got this HQ striped short sleeve top. Too much to say, but that burgundy and cream colorway isn't all that bad. I don't know what it says on there i'm gonna try to see for you guys it says supreme world headquarters i've never seen that same before i guess but the shit is okay the black colorway is i and that cream on burgundy is actually pretty clean would i go out my way for it hell to the no 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 we got that striped rib logo long sleeve i usually do like the rib logos because it's like a different feel to a shirt it has the ribbing on the sleeve and on the neck area like i said before it does give it like a really dope feel i just picked up a shirt that has like ribbing on it but it's like from 2015 i believe this shit is actually not bad at all would i pay 100 for it once again i don't know we already spoke about the thorn trucker jacket shit is ass we got the killer m65 now this killer design is kind of you like it you love it or you hate this shit because it's like super off the edge it says the killer under the box where he's basically the killer i've never watched this movie i don't even know what movie this is is it called the killer but the design looks cool i feel like on the hoodie this shit is 
fire. I really do like the way that it just pops on the hoodie. I don't know. I don't know. But hey, this M65 is going to be a straight brick of dick. This shit going to sit. Trust me, nobody really going to pay $400 for this shit at all. Like, we do have the killer box logo sticker, which is not going to be online, unfortunately. That makes me not even care about it, honestly, because I was excited to hear that there was going to be a BOGO sticker. Since they made it only in person or in store, I'm kind of fucked. So I might have to purchase it off resale, but I might not do that. Like, I'm not paying for no sticker. I'm actually trying to get rid of my stickers. That's besides the point. We got another camp cap. This camp cap got a pull cord on the back, bro. This shit about to have shoestrings next week. I'm trying to tell you, they bugging out, bro. They are bugging out. The colors on these are not bad at all, but that cord on the back, like, bro, I am not a 60 year old father who wears Hirachis to run at 5 a.m. in the morning. Like, this is not my steeds. You feel me? Like, they could hold this shit. We got the Supreme, the killer skateboard. This skateboard is actually fire. I would definitely go for it if you don't like any shirts or anything else from the collab. I do like the fact that they put a design on the front as well as the back. It also does have a BOGO on the back where the design is or whatever, which is also pretty cool. I really do like this skateboard. Not gonna lie at all. I really do like it actually. But after that, we do have the long sleeve killer tee. This shit is hard, bro. This is the one that gives me that Akira vibe. Come on, son. This gives me that Akira vibe for sure. It has a lot of words or whatever on the back. I'm gonna try to read it for you. But that front design, I love that Japanese font on the shirt type shit. And it's not cheesy. Like, I actually like the way that they implemented it. Yeah, that shit is hard, bro. I don't know what I'm gonna go for, but that might be it. It's this one or the short sleeve for me. But on the back of the tee, it does say he looks determined without being ruthless. There's something heroic about him. He doesn't look like the killer. He comes across so calm, acts like he has a dream, eyes full of passion. That is a sociopath or a psychopath. That nigga crazy. But it does have the Supreme BOGO under it. I just like the fact that it has font on the back, a really nice design on the front. It's just pretty sick. Definitely would recommend you to go for this out of the whole collab if you don't like the off the edge type shit. But this is gonna drop for $58, which honestly is expected when it comes to collab. Long sleeves, they usually up the price a little bit more. It just is what it is. But that piece is definitely hard. Now my favorite piece from the collab, which I won't be getting, is the killer sweatshirt. This this shit is fuego, bruh. And that black colorway, shit is super clean. It has that box with the red outlining. Says the killer right under it. If you're into like shit like this, super hard, bro. Really do like this hoodie. On the back of this hoodie, it says, in our profession, we shouldn't trust anyone with shit, bro. I I don't know. On the bottom of that, it has the Supreme BOGO, which is just a finishing touch to let you know that it is Supreme. I do like this. This shit is fire. I feel like down the line, this shit will be worth a pretty penny. Just, just remember that. I feel like all it takes is an artist to wear this shit and it's gonna kapoof to the top. That Akira shit is worth more than it was before, you feel me? It's gonna keep going up. It's kind of like stocks when you buy Supreme, if you keep it dead stock. We do got this dragon rayon shirt. It's just a rayon shirt that has dragons on it. It's not my stilo at all. It's 138 retail, which is a little steep for a shirt. And I'm, I don't know. I don't want this shit. I, I just don't. After that, we do got the Supreme Champion 3D Metallic some shit. Y'all already know how I feel about Champion and Supreme, bro. They could be doing so much cool shit, but I feel like they've done it all. Like, they don't know what to do no more, so they started throwing size tags on shit. It's just not worth it. It's not working for me, so I'm gonna leave that one to the side as well. 148 Retail. Just copy a regular Champion crew neck, and you good, bro. You literally good. Go to the thrift. You can find one for $5. You're good to go. You could literally buy 20 Champion crew necks for $1. 50. I'm just letting you know life hacks and shit, but we do got the Tag Herrera Pocket Pro Pocket Timer Stopwatch looking ass. This shit is gonna be dropping this week again, I believe. Like, it dropped the first or second week. I may be wrong, but I definitely feel like this shit dropped the first week, and it is gonna be restocking. The retail on this bitch is $268. So if you don't need this, if you really don't need this, <laughs> don't get this shit. It's all up to you. Now, one of my favorite pieces from the collab is definitely this the killer trust t this shit is fire bro it has the box logo at the bottom of the graphic it has something on the back it says the killer on the back which is kind of crazy but the shit is still cool this design is sick as fuck it's basically two dudes just basically pointing a gun at each other i'm assuming this is from the movie the killer but it does have that black bogo at the bottom i do like the way that the white color looks on this which is kind of weird for me because i do not usually go for white color tees and i probably won't end up doing it with this one but it does look really sick and this is basically like the killer hoodie in a shirt but it says in our profession we do not trust anybody or some shit like that with the killer under
under it. I just feel like it's a really clean tee. And once again, I feel like this one, if it doesn't have value, once it sells out, it will down the line. Just trust me on that. I am gonna let you guys know what to resell this week. I'm gonna make that video on tomorrow. I'm gonna do like a top five to resell for week 10 or some shit like that. This one is hard and I definitely feel like if you're trying to hold onto something from this collab, it would be this or the hoodie because it does have, well, actually it would be the shirt. And now that I look at it, I feel like that one will gain value down the line. The retail on this one is a little bit higher. It's 48, but that's expected when it comes to these collab tees. Now we're getting into the two final pieces. We do have the sideline parka. This is kind of like the sideline hoodie that dropped fall winter 17 or spring sun. Nah, it was fall winter. Eight. It was like fall winter 17, I think. That hoodie is doing pretty well from what I remember. I feel like this jacket might have a shot at doing the same thing. The retail isn't super high, so you might have some profit around it. And it is pretty hyped this week, but lately, bro, when it comes to Supreme, I don't even know, honestly. This shit is pretty clean. That teal and creamish, brownish color is okay. I just can't see myself wearing that on a daily. The black one, super clean. You got that white branding, which pops like crazy on that black color. And we do got like this Chiefs yellow on red colorway. This one is the one that gives me like that super vintage vibe. I do like it once again, but I definitely won't be going for it. 238 retail on this one. But last up, we do have like this card holder wallet type shit. I do like the camel one when it comes to this one. It gives me like that vintage Supreme camel vibe. I know. What the fuck are you talking about, Astro? I know. It does give me that vibe. Now, would I buy this? I don't know. The shit is on like a ball and chain type necklace. I just don't know if I would personally get this, but I guess it's another cool accessory. The retail on this one is 118, 128, which is not, no, like I'm, nope. I could use a regular wallet. I could use a shoulder bag at that point. Like I'm good, bro. But at the end of the day, that is the most hyped item. Now, would I buy it? I don't even know, bro, to be honest with you. That pretty much does it for this video. Honestly, let me know what you're gonna be going for this week. Personally, I do like that, the killer whole collab type shit. It is pretty clean. I know it's off the edge, but this is one of the edgy Supreme pieces or collabs that I actually do like, cause it's not extra. Like it's not on some, somebody have the schlonger dong on a table or like somebody who's an it, not a he or she. I don't even want to talk about that i'm sorry it's different like if you like girls cool if you like dudes whatever but if you're just in the middle like a smooth it i don't know where that came from but that pretty much does it for this video please yo please go check out project 88 bro it just dropped and i'm just trying to get them some support show them some love please like i might do a giveaway i might give y'all something i don't know bro just go check out their website it's gonna be at the top of the description and right under that is gonna be the gleam link for a 50 dollar paypal giveaway go check out project 88 bro please bro like i said before that pretty much does it smash that like button subscribe down below click the post notification bells and i will catch you guys on the next one but out he strikes again well